Okay, chat. Blue Black Ninjas. Ninjutsu, an ability that lets you return an unblocked attacker to your hand to put this card into play tapped and attacking and then also unblocked. This works really well with Ornithopter, which is a free flying threat. And then Ornithopter also works well with the Retrofitter Foundry here. So sacrifice a Thopter, make a 4-4 uh, Construct Artifact Token. So your turn one can simply just be play Ornithopter, uh, use play Retrofitter Foundry, sack it, get a 4-4 on the first turn of the game. Changeling Outcast also counts as an Ornithopter thanks to Changeling, so you can sacrifice it to get a 4-4. It also counts as a Ninja for the purpose of drawing extra cards with Infiltrator or getting bigger from Silver for Master. So a lot of really cute um, tribal synergies in here. We've got Fatal Pushes and Thought Seize as a touch of interaction. Let's go ahead and dive on into some match with this one and see if it can feel reasonable for a second time through. This deck's got some reasonable stats up on uh, Untapped, so hopefully it's one that can uh, impress for a second time here today. this down to try and work towards my next land drop. Also leaves me the flexibility to draw that. It's time to make some 4-4s, four friends. That is an unblockable fish. Seize matchup. Just gonna go ahead and pass the turn here. I want a fatal push at instant speed so that way I can take the island walk off of their thing and then eat their thing with my uh with my 4-4. to make a 4-4, four, four, eat their 2-1, and then we're cracking them with two 4-4s four, on the backswing. Pretty good. It's definitely not a Thought Seize matchup. Infernal Grass seems fine. An Aether Gust tags a few other things. Seems reasonable. Obviously leave the Fatal Pushes in here. Yeah, retro Retrofitter Foundry with the Ornithopter is getting to look real good there. Slang, thanks for the five months. Welcome back. Appreciate it.
my kingdom for a better Shockland interface. I miss, I miss the old Shockland interface, Jeff. It was so much better. I prefer to think of us as a Thopter deck with an inch of something. I'm sure thing. That is a 420 wallet, Chad. It's been a while. Okay, but like, what if I made a 4 farm? Do 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 bum 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 Three four fours are busted shit Combat tricks are great. We're gonna a couple of dive downs as protection slash combat tricks, speaking of. Better than make disappear, I'll bring in the grass for the gusts. Now this creature un does unfortunately have menace. Oh, Chan, I think they're gonna make some 4-4s four here. I have some hollowed boys in my future. Two 420 wallas? That's correct. Also like cheap four fours opponent. Alright, chat. These four fours are going the distance. They're going full speed. Do 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 do. Be do 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 do. Do 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 Right on time, chat. Oh, also, chat, I haven't complained about this on stream yet today. So I need to I need to talk about it. So on the YouTube side of things. Every time I go live on the YouTube side, we've been doing some streams over there. I have to reconfigure a bunch of settings like uh, my monetization settings and what game category I'm streaming in. It just doesn't remember them. And I thought I I must I, I thought I have to be missing something for these features to not exist, right? 
So I tagged YouTube on Twitter asking them where these features were. And they actually were like, those just don't exist. You can get some bit of feature request here. And it's baffling to me how Google as a company could cut what has to be seven figure checks to some of these large Twitch streamers. And like, not just be blatantly copying every reasonable simple feature Twitch has as a platform before spending money bringing those people in. It's like, this really isn't that complicated. You have, you have someone's homework you can look at. All right, the ox is coming back here, right? Yeah, yeah, a ton of cards in their bin. Just net deck being a platform. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'd, I'd assume, Kyle, that, like, their goal is to bring more streamers into their platform, right? Like, organically, not just ones they're, they're paying to be there. Would be my assumption. I don't know. Maybe that's a bad assumption. Maybe that's not their goal. Holy heat. Wow, they kept four card types in their bin despite escaping eight. That's really good. That seems like a gas card in their deck. here part of me wants to bounce the wall uh so that way so that way I can hit them for two but it's probably wrong I think I want to go Thopter into this, into this draw a card with it, is the plan. Oh my god, I just clicked through that because I was expecting them to attack. It really trips me up how sometimes on Arena the number of stops the client goes through are different depending on... Depending on what your opponent does. It's very different from Moto. Catches me on occasion still. Alright, they draw a removal spell. Ed. They're just reading it. If they're just reading it. That's great for us. We get to draw a card and make a 3 1 here. Yeah, I should be plus one card in hand right now, and this should already be in play. Feels bad, man. I guess we should have assumed they drew a good card because they didn't Faithless Looting. Good looting.
They didn't flash back the other looting, so we could we could see another removal spell here. Which could uh could chaos. I'd have gotten to play this on the previous turn if I hadn't misclicked. This was uh we would have seen I seen all of these cards one card sooner if I'd have played and activated the spectral sailor. Which means this would be attacking right now, which means we'd probably have lethal. There's a reason to not block with the Thopter and sacrifice it last turn. I guess not. Yeah, I guess our life total is low enough that we should have done that. That's a good, that's a good shout. Okay, miss. We're dead to, uh, dead to removal spell now. We're dead to one mana removal. Not dead to that one. No, I can make a token with Retrofitter Foundry. So I'm not dead yet. Not on board at least. I had, had a couple of slops here. I messed up the interface. I should be plus five life from that block. That's a good shout out. This is unblockable. I'm like, like clockwork, we've been playing Magic Arena for uh, three hours now and the audio is cut out. I'm glad it's not just always constantly out like it was before, but it's kind of funny that it's just like consistently cuts at the same point. Uh, that means we're dead to an untapped land because they have Remnant Emperance. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I could have been plus five buyers. So we should have been a card deeper in our deck and plus five life with better play there. That's fine. We'll get him on the play for game three. I don't think this is a Leyline of the Void matchup. Maybe it's supposed to be. Maybe it's supposed to be. The uh, client a kick after this game regardless so we get some sound back on. This seems just too slow and bad without being able to play a creature on one. We're kind of hoping they tap out here so we can hit them with the Mist Syndicate and get a copy. 420 Walla in the house. Now what's going on, Jace? Thank you for the 43 months. I appreciate the continued support. Welcome back.
could be getting unholy heated here, but I was just like, don't have anything else to do with my mana, so. Oh, I guess they, they were worried about the 2-3 ninja coming into play. And I can't know that our, our play is going to be a 3-1. on their part for sure. Fatal push. Nailed it. Another one that they can get back into play for free. Our goal at this point is to tempo them. Token also makes copies of itself, so need to be able to clear these out, or they're gonna, gonna just keep populating. Alright, looking good. Looking good. I say this draw even means they don't die to Shadow Skull Smashing, which is great. Friend up. Hit you, make a friend. The opponent is kind of a mono red, uh, mono red control deck. Unfortunately, our creatures are making card advantage, so we're doing, they're just playing really well into all their one for ones. All right, had some slops in the second game, but definitely kept us from winning. We're able to clutch that one out there. I make my face really big for a second here while we uh, get the client restarted so we have a little bit of extra audio as a treat. How's everybody doing? Thanks for chilling today. Got a few new follows. Welcome on in. Uh, folks that are familiar with me, I'm Jeff Hoagland. I make content full time here on the internet. Usually play Magic the Gathering three or four days a week here on Twitch. Usually we do all constructed on Magic Arena, so we've been playing Standard, Explorer, and Historic a lot lately. If you're looking to catch up on anything we've played after the fact, I also have a YouTube channel where everything I stream gets cut up deck by deck and uploaded there. You'll find playlists on the front page there for all of those different formats. You can scroll back through and see what we've played and check it out if any of them look like they're of interest. For the regulars, as a small schedule change announcement, for the foreseeable future, we will not be streaming Magic Arena on Thursdays anymore because I'm tired of putting Arena on the schedule, there being a client update and then not being able to log in and having to pivot to something else at the last minute. How are the metrics on Historic? Explorer and Historic are consistently the two most popular formats that uh, I make content for. Our main stays here. And as far as like format quality goes, when Wizards finally got up off their posteriors and like nerfed Cauldron Familiar and nerfed Unholy Heat and Darcy, it made this format markedly better. I think, I think Historic right now is the best the format has been since they printed all of those Modern Horizons 2 cards into it. Ooh, Gates. Just to clarify, the sound didn't cut out because of a bug. It was because ninjas are quiet. There's some A-plus marketing right there. Drawing the Infiltrator makes me a little bit sad that we made a 4-4, but it's definitely the right call against the Gates deck. And uh, KO them ASAP. Uh, if I'm being pointedly blunt, I think Magic today is probably a worse game 
than when I first started playing it due to how fire design has impacted the game play patterns on average, but I also think being worse doesn't mean it's unplayable by any means. To draw a couple of cards here because this counts as a ninja. The ninjutsu taking that card back to our hand triggers revolt for fatal push. Yeah, take me back to RNA standard. That sounds great. For those, for those that aren't keeping track, um, War of the Spark was... So they're dead, right? I make a 4-4. Four, four, and then I play this out. And then this ninjutsu's for just two. And it will be a four power card. And they're conceding. But they're actually dead this turn if we click through it. War of, War of the Spark was the first... Uh, fire design set. It definitely shows this is a hermit matchup how are we boarding here i think i'm supposed to cut the fatal pushes despite them having goats that's close though if they just get a goat early they could just run away with the game this deck's very reasonable chat this is not just a random brew that we came up with this is an archetype that's got metrics up on untapped a lot of people have found success with it What are we cutting here? I feel like I have a lot of interactive bits. This is not a... Well, I guess Aether Guz deals with taking their, their thing off the table. I mean, I, like, don't want Hermit. That's the trim. Spell Pierce has to diminish your turns. Make disappear is a little on the expensive side. What would be a better alternative fire design? Well, I think, I think it's important to acknowledge that, like, the idea of fire is mostly corporate buzzword bullshit, but at a, at a fundamental level, I personally would prefer if there was at least one constructed magic format that was more combat-centric. And I know whenever I bring this up, there's always people that are like, but Jeff, limited is really combat-centric. I don't want to play limited. Constructed magic is what I enjoy playing, and I would enjoy it more if there was at least one format where attacking and blocking was more reasonable. I think combat is one of the best parts of magic as a rules system, and magic as a game is in a better spot when blocking is a meaningful form of interaction. It's not even just that attacking is good. It's that blocking has to be meaningful interaction into that attacking. And that's not to say, for what it's worth, too, that Limited is bad. It's just to say that I don't enjoy Limited, so don't let me yuck your yum. But also, when I ask for something for Constructed, don't tell me to go play Limited instead. Right, we got one special present for Daddy Ugin right here. This one's got Daddy's, Daddy Ugin's name on it. This is more resource efficient, right? Yeah. Four gates in play at the moment. I assume they're gonna blaze it here. The reason I enjoy constructed magic 
is because I think the thing magic, if you said, Jeff, in today's day and age, where there's so many options for card games you could play, why should someone consider playing Magic over all the other choices? And I think the answer to that question is simple. Magic the Gathering does deck building better than any other card game out there. And part of that is due to the resource system. Another part of it is due to just the giant history and catalog of cards available to the game. It's easier for magic to do good deck building. I think we're dead, chat. Our hand is just a little too slow here. Too reactive. Like the Uga doesn't even exile our board. I'm just like not sure how we beat the goat mostly. Yeah, I, mean, I am supposed to leave the fatal pushes in. Spell pierces draw dead pretty quick, and this protects our stuff from the damage base sweeper. Maybe it is like this out. We leave a couple of pushes in, in addition to the Aether Gus. Split these like 2 2. Let's try that. Been really good at having turn one four fours so far this set, which is nice. Speaking of nice, uh, okay, so I'm actually gonna wait a turn to thought seize because I would like to use my two mana on the retrofitter foundry this turn to make a servo so we can work our way towards another four four. Because now I get to Thought Seize that still activate this this turn. Huh. I think it's that one. I think? I think it's that one. It turns out, chat, that going third is really bad against a turn one four four. Who'da, who'da thunk it? But going third against a turn one four four, not advisable. Yeah, yeah, I think so, Core. We get punished if they drew like exactly untapped red source a little bit, but even then we still have a four four. We're just losing the thopter. We had the gust to deal with a uh, with the goat when it came down for the first time. Is that an ad for the secret layer in August within the interface? Yeah, definitely. They've been doing those crossovers more, which is smart. Yeah, they keep making their piles of money.
No, oh, August secret lair. <laughs> I don't know which secret lair it's for, that's true. It wouldn't surprise me if it's out of date. Wizards is like notorious for not having up-to-date information inside of the client. So putting a, an ad in there that's initially good and then leaving it to rot because they're bad at what they do is uh, pretty on par. chat our political minute for the day and this will come as a shock to many of you but initial early polling after making the decision to cancel some student loan debt appears to look like it was a good decision and beneficial for the democrats in terms of view viewing them favorably weird weird how when you do things that help people they like you more This is my shock face, yeah, exactly. I think this is uh, make a 4 4 angle. Let's see them. I mean. The student loan cancellation makes me view them more favorably, and I didn't have any loans personally removed by it. It's just good to see them actually doing stuff. They have an 80 card deck to Fiddlebender out of chat. Come and get me. I'm sure, there's, I'm sure there's plenty of things in there that are bad for me. $10,000 of forgiveness is a haircut on... $10,000 of forgiveness is a haircut on interest rates. That's just objectively false, LD. While a majority of the total money that is in student loans is in people that owe a lot, a majority of people who have student loans in general have $40,000 in debt or less. If you look at look at the stats on it. So you're right that for some people it will just save the interest off, but for a majority of people that have student loans, 10,000 is a significant amount of it being removed. All right, so that's going away. I think we're making a 4-4 here so we keep attacking. It seems like they're gonna go out the board. Last time we played this deck, uh, the artifact deck seemed like mediocre matchups for us. I mean, did anybody say in this chat it'll raise taxes? Like, I don't think we have anybody spewing bad faith conservative talking points in chat. If there are, feel free to time them out. Man, fiddlebender and Icker well spring is correct, chat. To draw another card and get a three drop? Yeah, I feel I feel like there's no way this ends well for us. Our draw isn't even that bad. They're just like giving up the board really efficiently. Maybe we can draw one of our ninjas that lets us uh let's just draw cards we can do something.
Okay, that's only a 2-2. Do we make... I think I make another 4-4 here, right? Just keep the pressure on. Want to kill the smith here. It's a shame I don't have a way to bounce an artifact here. Because if we could bounce an artifact, it would kill this. Although I guess I don't really want to bounce the portable hole. Let's see if we can sneak this out across the finish line with these changeling outcasts. With Fiddlebender in play, that seems like a tall order, though. Sack my portable hole, get glass casket. Talk about an upgrade. Okay, they're down to six. Excuse me, what? Is that... They're dead, right? They missed onboard lethal? Because I get to... Well, I have the land, so they're dead. I get to untap this, make a 4-4, and then they can only block one of these, and two of them are lethal? Sick. We definitely... This is definitely a robbery chat. Definitely, definitely a stolen game there. Some slaps from the opponent, we eked it out. How'd the flash deck do? I will not be playing the flash deck again. It was uh, a little rough. Do we want Thought Seizes? Probably not. Or probably, I think Thought Seizes is better than Spell Pierce. They have some key creatures I don't mind taking. And then Pushes and Grasps are obviously excellent here. Oh, darling. Thank you, honey. I don't think you can eat all this food, so um, call me when you're done and I'll bring it back up. Perfect. Put it in the fridge. I cooked lunch, chat. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact for my fellow vegetarians. You can get any of the Buffalo Wild Wings wing sauces on uh, deep fried cauliflower. And it's a vegetable chat, so it's healthy for me. That's how that works, right? Hold on one second. I'm going to finish running this timer down while I set up my food. Apologies for the delay. If the sauce is ketchup based, that's also a vegetable. <laughs> that's just that's just true, you know.
I'll say they exile their stuff instead of putting it in the bin. Alright, so we're obviously losing the Retrofitter Foundry. Make our make ourselves a 4-4 here. I think I want to keep the O2, because the O2 is better if we draw ninjas, obviously. That's, uh, that's enough for that one. On the play, we have Changeling and Infiltrator, he says before getting portable holds. Want to know how I knew they had portable hold chat? Because they're a Yorian deck. The Yorian deck always has it. Fiddle bender here. Can't leave that and Emory in play. Whoa, the 
their turn play for the turn is draw Yorian. That's great for us. Even casting your aid doesn't do that much for them here, right? Uh huh? I think I might just make a one-one here because. I want the Changeling Outcast to sit and draw cards. The draws where you get to just like draw infinite cards in this deck are so satisfying. Here's like my ninjas, farm me treasures, please. All right, chip, I'm eating one more. No, let's see, I'm gonna eat two more onion rings and then I'm done. I'm gonna be un-American and not choose to gorge myself until I hate myself. We'll save, we'll save the rest for later. I apologize to anybody who is offended by this decision. I'm supposed to hit them an infiltrator and get cards going here. That's close though. It might be just double fatal push. Problem with double pushing is is I just don't have then I don't have any blue mana. That's an S percentile ship. Yikes. I think it's probably unfair to characterize this deck as the blue black pirates deck from GRN because this deck's actually good.
So probably, probably not a one-to-one -one comparison there. <laughs> A couple more pieces about removal. Try to be a little bit more aggressive on the play. <laughs> Alright. Dubs, Fatal Push. An Ornithopter, a Ninja. That might have been one of the last times I played Paper Magic, honestly. It's been a while. said we didn't do that. We put him in the discard pile. Good chat. Good chat. Ninja! They'll trade with that one, but the clone's gonna make another clone. <laughs> Alright, Yugi boy. This is all we got. Good move. This is the easy game, Chip. This is the one where we were on the play. The hard game's coming up here. If I don't hit a second land drop with this draw, it's because you all at home did not believe. So I'm going to need you to put your faith in me, okay? So the prime defender of cats, they believe chat, so should you. One black mana, please. Yikes. So, so many with so little faith, Jet. Oh, this is a free luck. That's why it probably doesn't matter. I missed the land drop so we're likely dead.
So I assume we're dead here. I needed to blow my nose, chat. And if you want to see that on camera, you got to subscribe to my OnlyFans. Apologies. Don't just give that. We don't just give that out for free. Where's the OnlyFans link? I only give it out to my tier three Twitch subscribers, so. Because if you're not at least a tier three Twitch subscriber, you can't afford the packages on my OnlyFans. So we gotta we gotta gate getting the URL because otherwise a lot of people just be disappointed. Sand's really not great. It's definitely a keep at six, though. Got a thought season to a two drop. My kingdom for an ornithopter off the top. Anybody else feeling dead? get more aggressively with this deck it definitely our good hands versus our bad hands have a pretty big discrepancy between them and maybe I'm just supposed to be looking for the early one drop ninja draws or ornithopter draws more aggressively call this series aggressive bulligans this is just uh you know rolling with the punches sometimes that's just how it be it's this maybe it's this oh Hey, Sal, thank you for the 51 months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. All right, that's a better one to have out than Moon Circuit Hacker, at least. Uh, I don't know that I necessarily need a higher density Rojo. Like, we've got, like, 10 of them, right? Or is it more than that? It's, it's, a, it's a lot. <sighs> we 
We've got what? Uh, four Ornithopters, two Spectral Sailor, four Changeling Outcast, and then the uh, <coughs> the One Drop Thopter as well. So we have 11, 11 One Drops. 11. 11 is pretty good. You kind of have, uh, if you look at the Hyper Geo calculations, you get kind of diminishing returns after, after a certain point. Silver for our masters chat. We're so tribal. <laughs> it's our first time we've had a draw. We've had a draw like this one. Man, I don't think I can Ingenious Infiltrator here. Because I want I want this to kill both of these. See, like this hand. Am I supposed to go to five? Like, it does stuff, but it doesn't have any of our one drops in it. It's like, maybe I'm supposed to go to five. I don't, I don't actually know. It's got like Thoughtseize and Push though. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Paula. I stopped at 144 Braveheart, but I hit every useful dual emblem except for um except for one that's ultimately not even that useful. Uh, I'm missing Moltres, a red white. I would if I was missing Kabutops, I would probably keep ripping, but I use that one in a few of my builds. Uh, punished for not uh, <laughs> killing the snoop. Treating here. I think we're dead, chip. <laughs> Being on the draw in conjunction with drawing a bunch of bricks is not a great time. Well, shoot. Zapdos, Zapdos is more worthless than, uh, <coughs> than Moltres. I think the, the yellow emblems are just like actually worthless. Floatstone. Floatstone's only only somewhat playable because um it's only somewhat playable because of the flat stats it gives. Like the the passive being on sometimes is like a, okay, this is fine. It's not the reason you play it though. We're just dead here. <laughs> they fire up the dead and they just like drain us out even when I fatal push it. Seven lands is uh, is not great yet, it turns out. Try and get try and get one more good ninja game in here.
Here comes blue. I said one more good game chat. So if we queue into blue white control, it's not the last one. Oh, th this deck's probably fine into blue white, honestly. Got a, got a good mix of disruption and stuff. How pumped am I for Dodrio? I don't, uh, I'm more pumped for hopefully the balance patch that's coming with it. If they release Dodrio with all the other characters as is, it's probably just gonna die to mime, right? You get to draw two cards on turn two here, chat. That sounds delicious against someone that's trying to make us discard. One of our nuttier starts. Miss Syndicate, unfortunately, here. Okay, I mean, Fatal Push effectively lets us draw a card here, so... Could definitely be worse. Hey, what's going on, Bray? What's going on, Ski? It's for the it's for the 23 months. Welcome back. I'm gonna play the untapped land here, cause honestly, if they if they go to make us discard, I might just fatal push something. This uh, this denies them a card draw, right? is absolutely cracked right now, D20. And I expect even after they nerf it, it'll still be pretty good. Alright, so I don't like Thoughtseize against their deck full of Thoughtseizes. I think I'll take the Hermit for extra Threat Density while board in some Spell Pierces. The rest of this seems fine. I don't think this is a dive down matchup. I think I'd rather have Pierce... Er, turn one sealer, turn two infiltrator, he says before getting inquisitioned. Not the uh, one or zero drop I wanted for Christmas. I was hoping to replace our lost sealer. No such luck. Do you know the Raven Man? The Raven Man? The Raven Man? Do you know the Raven Man? He's discarding your cards. Raven Man lines up pretty well into our Mist Syndicate. Excuse me? Nothing, really? Offer trade.
feel like that trade's good for us. What is in their hand that they just didn't have any discard that turn yet? Just like on mono Doom Blades, that like also didn't have removal spell though, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're, to you're right. totally right. Chat, listen. I've never read a magic card in my life, and I'm not about to start now, okay? <laughs> we put the Moon Circuit Hacker into play. And then the Retrofitter is going to get to upgrade this 1-1 one -one into a 1-1 one -one Flyer so we can sneak a Ninja over next turn. Pull a sneaky on him. It's an evil figure of destiny. It is, in fact. Oh, I mean, uh, another ground run. That's fine. It's more resource efficient. Okay, right, this is fine. Because now we'll go... Make a flyer, untap, make another flyer, and then do both of these next turn. That way they both hit, and we uh, we get to draw two cards. Sounds lovely. And I have two three threes here. We're still both at 20. That probably favors the person who has the sleeper. If they attack, it's like not really a big deal because we just like block and sacrifice. They have like a meat hook here, we could be in trouble. I didn't, I didn't leave a blocker back for the Moon Circuit Hacker. I could just have another blocker, though, to play out. They don't. That's so good for us, Chip. I draw three cards, please. Sorry, four cards. One of them's a discard, though. Plus, get another three one. I mauled that one, so we draw three cards total. So have to discard one. They have a fatal push, too. Nope. Okay. He's even auto stacked in the correct way. We want to take our extra draws before we loot. Hey, Yugi boy. Good move. These are my toys. Getting even with our board, chat. That explains why they killed the Mist Syndicate last turn. Because they had Extinction Event to clear out the, uh, the even ninjas. I'd trade the outcast for one of these. That is a Yargle avatar for the opponent. They're a finely cultured individual.
The Yargle avatar was on sale for Yargle Day. There's a Yargle Day? Since when? Oh, because it's 9-3. Okay, that's funny. I, under I understand now. So in Europe, do they celebrate Yargle Day on March 9th then? Mr. Hermit, hop in front of the evolved sleeper shaped bus here I have prepared for you. Thank you for your service. Did I just race them here? Bye. Fire this up. If we do this, and then we'll infiltrator this, and then. I can retrofitter foundry block with this and then sack it. <clears throat> okay. No more distractions. Let's make this quick. Haven't you ever heard of Yeah, yeah, if they attack days. with both of these again, I get to fire up the Hall of the Storm Giants. No! Oh man. One, one mana short. Day late and a mana short. Our opponent's deck is much better when it just plays good cards instead of trying to play, uh... Instead of trying to play Waste Not. Funny. Funny how that works, chat. Weird. What a strange and interesting development. I'm pretty sure this is our best start possible, by the way, Chet. The turn two, draw two. Yeah, make sure you report them at the end of the match, Beansy. And you'll get, you'll get points back. You know, it, it doesn't happen instantaneously, but you'll get an email. Letting you, you're gonna in-game email telling you that uh, you got some back afterwards day or so sometimes.
Alright, chat. They're taking their time doing bad things instead of doing good things like last time, so we take those. Oh, don't mind me. I'll just, I'll just be over here, uh, you know, drawing four cards. Your move, Yugi boy. These are a few of my favorite things. Uh, they're actually just dead, right? We make two four fours, we fatal push their blocker. That is a lot of colorless land for a Phyrexia to put our inner deck. Accurate. Accurate. All right, they didn't really do anything there. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run another. And another one. Another one bites the dust. And another one down, and another one down. Do, 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 do. do. Protecting fate? I mean, you're not wrong. It did not act, so I'm... There were there were a couple of locations that haven't been fully released yet and cards that were shown in the highlight video, but nothing super specific. Draw Ninja, Sedge. Basic plane, Sentinel, no other plays, so probably humans. We'll see if making four fours can be fast enough here. Might be a little on the slow side, we'll see. Fingers crossed for a ninja that draws cards next to us. You're gonna say it's an infiltrator. Yeah, Ingenious Infiltrator. I was standard earlier. The quality of the games was fine. The deck we played was bad. Taking another attempt at standard tomorrow. Snap is definitely a game that needs regular content updates. I mean, all games are better with regular content updates, but yeah. Snap's definitely gone a little bit too long in between their current patches and new cards. All right, hopefully they draw another three or four instead of a land here. Might give us time to punch through. I am not holding my breath on any changes to standard in terms of ban list because Wizards usually super conservative about actually banning anything in standard. They really, really don't like doing that. I'm gonna bring in Dive down in this matchup because not only do they have a touch of removal, but it also serves as a combat trick. Obviously want the grass, we'll leave in one thought seize. Eh, I'm gonna cut the hope. Leave in two thought seize. Card's fine on occasion. 
Yeah, I agree, Avocado. If they actually get set up and they just release like one new card every single week for Snap, like they said is their eventual goal, I think that'll be a great, great setup for keeping people engaged and interested. Uh, I don't think Fable of the Mirror Breaker should be legal in any Magic the Gathering formats. I think it should be nerfed in digital and probably banned most places. And then Meat Hook Massacre obviously should go. Yeah, yeah, and even if they do make changes in standard, it probably won't be for a month and a half to two months. And then by the time they're finally ready to make changes, they'll be like, well, we see that there's a problem, but we have a new set releasing and we have to wait and see how things shake out from the new set before we make any changes. So we're just gonna leave it alone. It'll be fine. Please don't stop swiping your credit card in the meantime. What's wrong with Fable and non-rotating formats? It's, it's omnipresent and too good. You, you basically can't justify playing a non-red mid-range deck in Explorer and probably Historic too, honestly. I think in digital formats where they can rebalance Fable, they should just make it cost triple red as an homage to the original Meatball. There's our boy chat, love it. What was that, Jeff? I can't hear you over the sound of my credit card cha -ching. There's the spirit. When is Magic Worlds, by the way? I know I've been told this before, but I really couldn't care less about it, so I always forget. <laughs> someone, someone remind me. In case I wanted to tune in and watch a bunch of downtime. It's not till the end of October. Oof. Oof. That's forever from now. Oh, Worlds is during Magic 30? I didn't know that. That's actually really smart on their part. I like, I like that a lot. It's a very good idea. All right, deck, I would like to draw one fatal push, please. So I can get a 4-4 token and kill this Skyclave. I think I'm chilling on the dive down for now. Obviously, I could play the Changeling Outcast, but I really want to keep my Infiltrator in play. Keeping the flow of cards from that going has a lot of upside. What is Magic 30? Um, it is a big, not Grand Prix in Las Vegas. For Magic's 30-year anniversary. So, honestly, I think I dive down here to gain two life because with Thalia in play, I'm just not going to, uh, I'm just not going to get another use for it anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I think we just dive down and throw it as a blocker. They seem very confused. Ninja!
Yes, all of the cards, please. How many of the cards? Yes, all of them, please. Got to discard the hand size. Pretty unlucky. Pretty unlucky. Skyclave, yep. They did it before blockers. Smart. This is lethal, right? You know what the saddest part about this lethal is, chat? I don't get to draw four cards. Such a, it's such a damn shame. We killed them and we don't get to draw four cards now. I think this is definitely my favorite deck in Historic right now. And more importantly, I think this deck captures what should be the ultimate goal of Wizards of the Coast with this format. They need to stop putting generically powerful cards like Unholy Heat and Archmage's Charm and others into this format and putting sweet synergy cards to push up these tribal decks and other neat build around style decks that are just a little bit too weak in the format up to that next level is so good. Like these are these are cards that like see some fringe play in Magic's higher powered paper formats, but ultimately aren't at the top of anything. And it's sweet to see them get a chance to shine here in Historic. This is our second time playing this deck. It was the second time it was sweet. Honestly, as far as um like deck cost goes, this deck's actually really cheap to build, right? Like Thought Seize is a format staple and obviously dual lands, but like the number of bad cards you have to craft to build this deck that are rares or mythics, it's like literally just these, right? All the rest of these are commons and uncommons. Yeah, yeah, it's like seven rares in the main deck. And even the sideboard is just like all staples. Like you don't even need Leyland of the Voyage. You could play a uh, Soul Guide Lantern or something else there, I think. But yeah, if you're looking for a sweet tempo deck that draws some cards, there's some randomly aggressive draws by pumping out four fours on the uh, on the first turn of the game. I think Foundry's a really sweet card to do that with. And it's awesome that Changeling also has synergy with just like the Infiltrator as a sil Silver Four Master as well. All right, chat. I think it's time to get to snapping. 